Hey guys, this is Canada Goose Reviews, a YouTube channel dedicated to everything Canada Goose. So in this video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between a real Canada Goose coat and a fake Canada Goose coat. And I've got a fake Canada Goose coat on my left right here and then a real one on my right. So in this video, I'm going to go through and look at some of the differences and the details between these two jackets. So you guys can know if you get a coat, if it's real or if it's fake. So here's a close-up of both of these patches. So again, the gray parka is the fake one and the black one is the real Candu's coat. In this video what I'll do is I'll instead just kind of show both of the things I'm focusing on and then obviously those the differences should be pretty apparent in the video and the images. So here's the back tags. Here's the fur, so the bottom coat is the real one right here, and this is the fake one. You can kind of tell by how even the fur is, as opposed to this one which looks pretty mangy. So the real zippers will say Vislon on them. Now some fakes have zippers that do say Vislon on them, so there's other things you'll want to look for as well. But that's just one telltale sign. If you have a fake, it won't say Vislon on them like this. And this is true for the heavier parkas. So here's a side by side of the inside tags. They're in they're usually in a pouch, the newer ones are. The older ones aren't in a pouch, they have a different layout, but I'm gonna compare the fake coat right here, pouch, with the real coat's pouch. So they shouldn't ever have the hologram on the front first page of these tags, it should be this. This is much too light of blue. This one is longer than this one, as you can see. So one of the telltale signs that you have a fake is if the coat you get comes in a bag that looks like this because this is what a lot of fakes will come in. So this is Canada Goose Reviews. I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you have any further questions, you can always direct message me on Instagram. I'll post my Instagram account link in the description box below for you. Also, I don't really get paid for this, so it would be really appreciated if you would leave a tip because that would help me answer your questions very quickly because I do tend to get a lot of these questions. So thanks for watching guys.